Hello, I'm Dr. Manor Haas. I'm a certified endodontist from Toronto, Canada. In this segment, I would like to review the removal of excess gutta core material in the pulp chamber. The removal of excess gutta percha in the pulp chamber and of the gutta core carrier may seem messy and difficult, but it's actually quite easy and one of the great features of the gutta core system. To remove the gutta core carrier at the level of the canal orifice, I personally like to use a sharp carry spoon excavator and sever the gutta core at the canal orifice. As you see in the video clip, you may do this in an apical and lateral direction. If you wish, you may also use high speed or slow speed burrs for the step, but I found that there's no need to use these. I realized a long time ago the risk of using burrs to remove the carrier. As you may see in this radiograph, I unintentionally nicked and removed some of the pulp chamber wall adjacent to the distal canal while trying to remove the carrier. But with thermophil and other carrier based systems, you have to use a hand piece to remove the carrier, but not so with gutta core. That I personally found is a great advantage of gutta core. Now, in the event that the gutta core is pulled out of the canal when doing this step, simply pack it back apically with a blunt instrument. You can see me doing this in this video clip during the obturation of a maxillary incisor. Although rare, when it does happen, I find this to be a non-issue since the gutta percha is still not fully set and I can still very easily condense it apically. In teeth with multiple canals which benefited from blocking out adjacent canals, you may at this time remove the paper point from the next canal to be obturated. And of course, prior to obturating that canal, line the canal with a bit of sealer and proceed with the gutta core obturation as I've just shown. And so to recap, removal of the gutta core carrier and warm gutta percha is very simple and unique to gutta core. You may use any technique you wish, including round burrs, but I found the hard way that I don't like using burrs, especially high-speed burrs, and that a sharp spoon excavator works best. Finally, keep in mind that the ability to carry out this step so easily separates gutta core from other carrier-based obturation systems. I hope you found this useful. Good luck, and thank you for your time.